In today's video, we're going to be testing the latency of these two cameras. Now, these are two new cameras from Foxia. They're called the Foxia Razer Micro and the Foxia Razer Mini. However, before we get into the latency test, there's also something you need to know. They are currently on a sale for the next couple hours, I think. Uh, the Micro is going for $15.90 and the Mini is going for $20. So that is an insane, insane price. They both come in 16 by 9 and 4 by 3, but they're not selectable, but you can choose when you purchase them. But let's get to the good part. So latency. Let's talk a little bit about latency before we get into the results and see what else they come with. So what you usually want to do is you want to get something below 15 milliseconds of latency. Um, under that is like the golden zone. 25 milliseconds is still fine. 30 Above 30, that's when it, you start pushing it, really. Uh, that's where you kind of don't want to be. So usually you want to be under 25, preferably under 15. So both of these cameras are using the same exact sensor. And this is a good thing because their testing results are exactly identical. And, um, and it's a really good result. So back to my thing. Below 15 milliseconds is the golden zone. And these actually ran less than 2 milliseconds consistently. Always around 1.3 milliseconds or so. And that is a really, really great thing. So out of the box, as you can tell, the Mini also comes with an adapter which will allow it to fit into an HS1177 type frame or mounting solution. So you'll be able to fit it if you have a um, you know an older type frame. You will still be able to fit the Mini. Now don't forget, this one is going for 20 bucks right now, which is an absolutely crazy deal right now because the, even the Chinese ones are costing around 20 bucks, but they don't even come close to what these are actually doing here. Not only that, they even give you the OSD remote here and silicone wires, which is to be expected nowadays. And I really like these silicone wires. They're a bit more stiff than the, uh, what is it called? The run cams here. But also another thing that I truly like about the Foxtrot cameras here is that they give you a separate port for each thing. So you have the separate port here for the OSD, which you can remove because some of the run cams, they have them all into just basically just one connector. And it's pretty annoying to be honest this is much much better in my opinion you have your your you know your dedicated stuff right there and then you also have your on-screen display right there now if we look at both of these they both have exactly the same functionality they could both take 5 volts to 25 volts which is a must nowadays but it's never really recommended to set these up on battery voltage always put them on a regulator and preferably a 5 volt but if you have a 9 that's good 12 that's good also, you can put it on your battery voltage, but it might introduce noise, which you might think it's coming from the ESC or coming from the on-screen. They're more susceptible to noise, basically. That's what I'm trying to say here. So keep that in mind. And again, both of these do come in 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 and it is using a plastic casing here. And what I really like is they put these metal threads inside, which is a very, very important thing. Back then, we never had that. It was just all plastic. And it was an absolute nightmare when you strip the internals to try to get the camera to stick into place again. And nowadays we don't have that problem because they are using metal uh, inserts here, both on the micro and that. The micro is $15 right now. That is insane. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results. So the Fox here mini here, the Razer mini to be exact, was hitting a consistent 1.3 millisecond latency that is insane and remember f uh, you know under 15 milliseconds 15 milliseconds is a golden zone under five is insane under two is the best so this is by far currently the cheapest premium lowest latency camera you can purchase i don't know for how long it's going to stay this price but right now it's um it's the cheapest and this is the time if you're looking for a low latency camera However, the video quality I have not tested. I haven't even plugged these up. I just plugged them up to my oscilloscope just to get the overall latency test. So with the LED turning off, what we can see, we see this really long slope around 8.5 milliseconds. However, uh, this 8.5 milliseconds, the, the, the doesn't mean that, that that's its current latency. This is all the software side of, you know, the exposure, trying to fix the lighting. And you can see it gradually degrade slowly until we get that black screen. So it's actually registering still within... I would say personally, like this is my opinion, I would say it actually registered within the first two to four milliseconds. And when it finally settled, it was around 8.5 milliseconds. So if you want to take it as the LED turning off latency is 8.5 milliseconds, that is still pretty damn insane, which is a really good thing. Really great. Really, really great. Now let's take a look at the uh, micro. So the micro also 
uh, shares exactly the same characteristics and you'll actually see the same exact thing here. So the micro's latency was also averaging around 1.3 milliseconds, but as you can tell, it's 1.24 milliseconds on this test as it was. Actually, most of these is slightly faster, but then there we go. We also see a 1.32 millisecond. This is with the LED turning on. Now let's take a look at it with the LED turning off here. Now don't forget this thing is going for $15 right now. That is insane. So as you can tell, we can also see the same exact characteristics with the LED turning off here. We see that slope coming down, you know, the wide dynamic range and everything is starting to kick in with the brightness and the exposure and kind of like gradually uh, taking the correct colors or the correct exposure here. And uh, we're also seeing 8.1 milliseconds right there. If you want to take that as the full latency for the LED turning off, then you can. Uh, but it does seem just a tad bit faster than the mini. Um, just basically on almost all the tests around 100 um, nanoseconds, I would say. Yeah, 100.1 of a millisecond. So around 100 nanoseconds, if I remember correctly. Yeah, nanoseconds. Yeah, so about 100 nanoseconds uh faster uh, not that big of a difference not going to make a really big difference anyways but um yeah they're both really 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 fast cameras and um uh so far they're really great in terms of latency and price and it's a premium company so and you're getting everything you're going to need in the packaging which is really great but you don't get an adapter for the micro we never really do usually nanos and minis give you adapters um, and they give you the OSD, you know, sometimes Runcam doesn't even give you the OSD. So for a price like this and some screws, um, I think it's a really great deal that, you know, you should have pick up a couple at least as a backup, which is something that I'm going to do personally as well. And, you know, they might come up on a couple builds because that'll help you in a budget build or it's going to help me in a budget build sooner or later um, in my videos. And everything's linked down below, guys. I'll try to get you even more coupons if possible, but they are on sale. So that's unlikely right now. So yeah, go ahead and check the links down below. There's a great sports channel. Come join my Patreon. You have a chance to win some of this stuff and a bunch of premium stuff at the end of the month. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.